Hey, what is going on, pros and prices? It's Mr. Lyman HD here at World Chain. Now, the drinks review today is going to be on DD and it's going to be on the Bergamont tea. So, uh, I got this particular can out of Pound Stretcher and it cost me 50p, which is not bad for a nice big 500ml can. So, I give you guys a 4 for 60 of the can. So, we have most of the can being uh, pink, uh, we have like a billion different languages on the back, and well, probably a couple billion actually, there's a lot of languages on there. And uh, like I said, we have a picture of a Bugamon, whatever that is. To me, it looks like a lime, you know. I don't even know what a Bugamon is, to be honest with you, probably some random fruit or something. Uh, we have quite a big font and logo. On the bottom, we have nothing. And on the top, everything is standard and silver, including the pouring. So, Bergamot tea. Bergamot flavoured. So it seems like it is the flavour. Looks like it's lime. I don't know what Bergamot is. <laughs> uh, so it says it's got a little tick here. And it's got some uh, stuff on it. It says, no glucose syrup, no fructose syrup, no colorants, and no preservatives. Uh, over the billion different languages, uh, let's see, carbohydrate or aquamain count of which sugar is, I believe, 8.5 grams per 100 ml, so it is quite sugary. Uh, average for energy drinks is generally around 10 milligrams per 100 ml, even though it's not an energy drink, just com for comparison. Uh, so we also have 6,000 different languages on the back. Uh, English is up here somewhere. So we have ingredients, uh, do, 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 black tea extract, flavouring bergamot, uh, contains caffeine from the tea, max 18 milligrams slash milligram litres. Ah, that's weird, just weird wording, but apart from that, not much else on the can. I believe it is a, yep, it's made in Turkey, so it's a Turkish drink, hence why it's got all that kind of Cypriot type wine on the bottom and on the back and stuff. But anyways, it's nice and cold, have one cup, let's go straight to it, hopefully it doesn't explode over me. So as well, I'm trying out my new camera angle as well, you know, I've kind of got the width, not too bad, but I am missing the height because, you know, the height is a bit more tricky. But anyways, uh, ooh, what is the colour of this going to be? I have no idea. I'm assuming, I want to say green, but it's going to be like a brownish colour because it's tears and it's probably just going to be a royal brownish apple type colour. As far as the taste and smell, I honestly have no idea, so uh, we'll find out, and it didn't explode over me, that's good. i got a feeling this is going to be really nasty for some reason. I don't know why. i got a feeling it's going to be really, really nasty. And the colour it is. Ah, I guessed it. <laughs> so, as any other tea or iced tea, it is your generic apple -y apple juice colour that does that darkish brownish apple colour as you'd expect. Quite a lot of uh, fine bubbles in there. I don't know if you can yeah you can see that on the camera there's like, lots of fine bubbles. Uh, it's kind of see-through for the most part I guess when the bubbles could be able to see through. Now the smell. Hmm. It just smells of a uh, generic iced tea to be honest with you. Kind of like um... Yeah, it just smells of some, well sometimes you buy like the bottled iced tea, like the standard flavours, it kind of just smells like that really. But nevertheless, let's uh, taste some. You know what? That's actually quite nice. And as far as the flavour, this is one of those drinks, okay, when I try and describe it to you guys, and I think to myself, I have no idea what it tastes of. It tastes of bergamot, or however you say it. Uh, I'm actually, actually going to look it up quick. Because I have no idea. All I'm going to say to you guys is, it tastes of bergamot, or have you say it. And the thing is, I don't know what that tastes of. But it tastes of that, if that makes sense. So let's have a quick look. So uh, B E R G A M O T. So there's a lot of these drinks neat when I review them, you see. So, okay, so it's, oh, so it's part of the orange. Orange? I guess it's part of the lime orange family. That's what it says on here. So, bergamot orange, citrus bergama. The bergamot orange is a fragrant citrus fruit the size of an orange with a green color similar to a lime. Okay, so it's an orange, the color of a green. Okay. Okay, so yeah, it's basically that, which is 
bergamot. That's too bright, but look up on Google. So that's interesting. So it's a product of the orange thing, the bergamot. I've no, again, I've never seen them over in the UK, that's why I had no idea. And honestly, it doesn't taste anything like lime or anything orangey. It just tastes, it just tastes nice. It tastes of bergamot. I hope I'm saying that correct. <laughs> As far as the sweetness, it's not too sweet. There's a little bit of sweetness in there. Um, but I said the flavour which is in there, it's really nice. It's not overpowering. It's a nice, decent flavour in there. And it doesn't taste, as I said, it doesn't taste sweet or soupy or like that. And again, being like a, a nice iced tea or whatever, it's it's kind of quite light and refreshing, actually. If it had a bit less sugar, I reckon it would be, you know, a tad less sweet and it would be really, really nice and crisp then. For the most part, I actually like that. Uh, I Yeah, it's really nice. I'm just trying to think any drink which I've ever tasted like that before. I honestly haven't tasted a drink like that before, so I cannot compare it to another drink for you guys. Hmm. It's just really nice. Hmm. Bit bubbly, but there we are. That doesn't mean anything. But no, but I actually like that, guys. That's that's nice. That's nice. Again, I don't mind iced tea in general and everything like that, but nope, that definitely gets a thumbs up for me. So as always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all later.